I'm a fence. I buy and sell. What do you deal in? Everything worthwhile. <sighs> so what'll it be? We doing some ploughing business? The city guards found a witcher's sword at your place. First of all, it's the cocksucking guards. Second, why do you care? Another witcher, Berengar, came to see you. Well, it wasn't his fucking razor. How do you know that? I have your boyfriend's other property. The sword I got elsewhere. Other property? Right. Meaning not his sword, got it? Like his undershorts that he pissed all over or something. So where did you get the sword? What'll you give me if I tell you? I'll stop short of gutting you. Fair offer. I bought it from a man at the Hairy Bear Tavern. Care to describe him? No need. He's the most famous dice player around. Out fucking standing. A real goddamn magician. How did you get Berenger's property? Stubborn ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. Where do I find him? At the Hairy Bear Tavern. Doubt he'd want to talk to you. Man named Coleman. How did you get Berenger's property? Stubborn ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. You don't get it. I'm not interested in the middleman. I want information about Berenger. Then don't fucking ask me. Your witcher boy was working for the alchemist, Kalkstein. That information you get free. I'll charge you the usual for anything else. Have you heard of Salamandra? Piss-swilling reptiles. I've heard of them, but I've no fucking idea what they want. Amphibians. What? Salamanders are amphibians. Now tell me your connection to them. I'll be proud if I know. You do business with Salamandra? Did you fucking fall off your horse? How did you get Berenger's effects? Dog's balls, I'm a fence. Want me to draw you a picture? You think I ask every thief who he ploughed for his goods? Let me draw you a picture. A certain organization, Salamandra, has it in for witchers. A witcher, Berengar, disappears, and all he had lands in the hands of a fence. You. Getting this? A pox on pictures. Berengar's nothing to me. My suppliers might know more. Besides, I'd never survive in this business if I sold hot goods I actually had a hand in getting. That's believable. Innocent until proven guilty, I guess. So let's assume it's not you for now. I'd say so. Goddamn Dijkstra, a spy. Dog's balls, what a clever analysis. If you figure anything out and need more information, creep on over and we'll talk. Again, again, beat a man. Take whatever you can sell. Simple. Well, well. Swords on your back. White hair. You run away from a circus? No, still a member. But I hear they're looking for you. Sharp tongue. Good fella. What can I get you? What's with all this betting? Common folks entertainment. Two toughs fight. We wage it on who wins. What do those nuts get out of it? Gold. Spectators have a laugh while the boys let off steam. If something goes awry, the dogs get some supper. You fight. What a champion! I'll wager your luck excels at dice. I have my ups and downs. I propose an honest game. I might just take you up on that. I can tell you're well-traveled. It's a true honor to play a man like you. I'm a witcher. Aren't you afraid I'll jinx the dice? 
I'd rather lose to someone worldly than beat an ordinary sort. These farmers only wager cabbages. A hunter once frequented this establishment, but I haven't seen him in ages. I think you've seen the last of him. He enjoyed high stakes, but was unlucky at dice. He was unlucky in love, too. If you say so. Silver sword mean anything to you? Why do you ask? I don't have time for chit-chat. Take no offense. Where did you get the sword? I want it from a gardener. Where can I find him? The garden at St. Lebioda's hospital. Let me have a sniff. Don't go into it. <sighs> What's... I'm not playing that. St. Lebioda's hospital for victims of the Catriona plague. Only two stages after this. Old Vizima and Hell. Damn, I'm gloomy. No passage. I'm going inside. Disease patients inside. I'll not have you spreading the pestilence. Fine, move on. Look how they grow. I'm more interested in silver swords. I knew one of you would come by eventually. You lost it playing dice? I was sure I'd win. Beware the sharp one plays well. Where did you get this sword? Five years ago there was a battle near Brenner. When the dust had settled, our men had beaten the Nilf Guardians. We ceased to call ourselves an Imperial Province that day. You captured the sword during the battle? Yes, it was Witcher Cohen's. A strapping fellow and a rare breed. Not very talkative, mind you. Like most of us. I gave my word the sword would find another Witcher. As he lay dying, he mumbled about teeth and destiny. Then he laughed at his own death. Yet you lost it gambling? I kept it hidden for five years. I lost hope I'd ever run into another Witcher. Miss Shani knew Cohen. She works at the hospital. Thanks. Good luck on the path. Yes? Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm-hmm. I heard you saw Cohen shortly before he died. That's right. How did you know? I found his sword. He died during the battle at Brenna. On my operating table. You were a medic at Brenna? I worked alongside a surgeon named Rusty. Best doctor I ever knew. Knew? He died when the Catriona Plague erupted, in Maribor. Though a halfling, he could operate like no one else. He made everything seem simple. Stitch red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, and everything will be all right. Ugh, you wouldn't understand. Sorry, Shani, I didn't know him. Do you know anything about this sword? No, but you should ask the dwarf, Sultan Chive. His knowledge of weapons is unmatched. Witcher! Zoltan Chive, good to see you. You got inside the town okay? Plenty of work for a Witcher in Vizima. It seems so. How did you manage to get in? Nasty non-humans will always find a way to sneak into human homes. True enough. Listen, Zoltan, I wanted to talk to you. Yes? What do you know about my silver sword? What, me? A simple dwarf? Shani insisted your knowledge of weapons is unequaled. All right. Silver-plated blade. A steel core. Suited to a two-handed grip. Decent workmanship? Not perfect. I don't know runes for shit. Thanks. No problem. How are you doing? Ever considered marriage, Geralt? My profession's not exactly conducive to marriage. Infertility, incessant risk, travel. Not many women would agree to that. You see, I'm having doubts. Go on. I haven't seen her for some time, and I'm getting jealous. She dwarves are so desirable. I suggest we drink heavily, if that doesn't help. You mocking me? I wouldn't dare. Hardly something to laugh about. 
Got a minute? What's eating you? I warn you, some philosophies involved. The meaning of life, eh? The evil that witchers fight stems from chaos, from actions aimed at disturbing order. For where evil spreads, order cannot be established. Instead of the light of wisdom, the glimmer of hope, and the glow of warmth, darkness ensues. And in darkness you find nothing but blood, fangs, and claws. Like in the outskirts. Nicely put, but as young Serro said to King Verdank on their first date, does it have any practical uses? The right of witches to live and function in this world has fallen out of balance, because the struggle between good and evil now plays out on a different battlefield with different rules. Evil has ceased being chaotic. No longer a blind, elemental power, evil follows rules according to the rights it's been granted. It functions in line with treaties. That's progress. With more of us living longer, we can slaughter one another in the thousands. Progress is like a herd of pigs. The herd brings many benefits, but no one should wonder at all the shit. Shit or no shit, witchers exist to slay monsters. How can I when the real monsters hide behind ideals, faith, or the law? The biggest evil is moral relativity which kills more than the Catriona Plague and dragons combined. Witchers will always be needed, no matter where that pig heart leads us. Thanks, Sultan. <laughs>